Okay, so this result um, gives us a, kind of a cool result. Um, and it's talked about in the textbook, but let's, let's mention it here as well. So you have a curve of some sort, right? I don't know, something like this. Here's my curve. Um, and, and you want to know, like, how curvy is it at a given point? Like, if I'm, you know, here, how much curvature is there at that point, right? Um, well, there, there's this, this notion of a sort of uh, what's called an osculating uh, circle, right? And so the idea is that, so if this is some point P, right? Um, so we, we draw it kind of, it's at the point P. Um, it's tangent, uh, well, well, let's say it's, it's not at, it's through, right? So the point P should be on that circle. Uh, it's tangent to the curve. Um, it should lie on kind of the, the concave side of the curve, kind of the inside of the curve. Um, and and the, uh, the radius, radius, uh, will be given by 1 over the curvature of that curve at that point. Um, and, and so what you get is this kind of this circle that, you know, it just, it kind of just fits in there. Um, and, and so you can, what you can imagine is that this circle kind of rolls along the curve. And at points where there is more curvature, right, um, the radius kind of shrinks to fit, so it stays in. And at places where there's less curvature, right, the radius can grow. Um, and when you get to kind of a, a, like, sort of a point of inflection, right, where the, you know, now we want to be, it kind of flips over to the other side. Um, but, yeah, so you, you can use the notion of curvature to get this, uh, this idea of an osculating circle. It just kind of fits in and it rolls along the curve, right? And so if I... Um, if I had kind of something, you know, like a curve with a really sharp bend in it, well, then this point here where there's a lot of curvature, you know, you'd have to fit a small circle in. Whereas if you, if you had something, you know, like here, where it's more of a gradual curve, right, then, then maybe you can fit a much larger circle in on the curve, right? Um, and, and so you can just gives you a sort of a nice way to talk about curvature and sort of like fitting circles onto the curve and kind of rolling that circle along and thinking about how the radius has to change as you roll along um, if you want the circle to kind of fit and hug the curve as it goes.